Now today I've got a couple of places in mind that I just want to go and see if I can catch a crayfish or two to see whether they're there this spot and another spot. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. This is the first spot I'm going to try and it looks very, very snaggy. There is a, a more than high chance that I could lose one or two nets here. I'm only using two for the reconnaissance mission and I've chosen my two most out of shape, damaged, oldest, wrecked, most wrecked nets that I've got because they're the most expendable if I lose them and I've got them baited with chicken carcasses. Let's put them in and see how we go. Right now as I put net number two in, <laughs> I just made a rookie mistake. I just put net number one in and I explained everything that I was going to be doing and only then did I realise that I was in camera mode. I took a photo of myself with the net in my hand. So I'll explain it all again now. I can see snags all along the edges. I can see them running out there. So I'm going to throw it out a fair way to get past the snags. And when I pull the nets in, I'm going to hold my arms out and lift them up as fast as I can to try and get them to come up as vertical as I can to prevent them catching on snags because this spot looks dodgy. That's gone over that tree, but there you go. That's looking good. So when I check these, as I said, I'll be... Uh, trying to pull them up as vertical as I can and as fast as I can. It looks like it's only about five or six feet deep. So this is a reconnaissance. It could be success, could be a success, could be a fail, and it could be uh, a loss of two nets. Now, I don't know that I'll worry about the impatient check. It's 9.37. Normally I get impatient and check them after the first 15 or 20 minutes, but I'm just worried about snags. So I'm thinking I might have to make each check count. See how I go, it's 20 to 10. Right, I folks, the moment of truth. It's a semi-impatient check. It was going to be a very impatient check. They've been in for exactly half an hour. I was going to check them 10 minutes ago, but I've been talking to a lovely South African couple and helping them with directions. So that just allowed me to keep them in a little bit longer. The moment of truth. Can I get the nets out without getting them snagged? Mm, yes, I think I'm going to be able to, but there's no crayfish in it. But at least I've got it out without getting it snagged. That's the main thing. Just knowing that I can get the net out without getting it snagged is a huge relief. If I can do that here as well, I'll be very, very happy. Oh, it's heaps of snags. I can feel it running up snags. I got it. I can feel it hitting the snags as it's coming up, but it didn't catch any. Beauty. I'll give them a bit longer this time. Righto, folks, it's been 50 minutes since the last check. Better luck this time, Robert. Uh, no snags, no snags, no snags. Feels heavy. Is there a cray in it? Yes! There's two in it and they're quite large. You beauty! Now just got to get it up from that bit. <laughs> There's two crays in it, but I've got to get the net up. Now it's stuck on that one. Now it's stuck on the third one. Here we go. Finally, slowly, getting there slowly. And we are up. You ripper! I've got my rope cord on my camera. The crayfish reconnaissance has paid off. I am super excited. Super. When I was a kid, there used to be a lottery called Super 66, and each night the old fella would get on the TV and say, Tonight's Super 66 draw. <laughs> right. The Mr. Carpet tape measure says that that's about 9.8. Yeah, he's about nine and a half, and he's the biggest. And it's got no eggs, too. That is a really nice cray. I'm going to get a couple of quick photos of this one. Right, I reckon that's about two or three millimetres under size. What a beautiful crayfish. It's a fair way down there. Should be right. See you later, mate. I'm sure that armour will keep it safe. Now, this one's a little bit smaller than that one. So, if that was about two or three millimetres under, I'd put this one at around about 90. Or oh, maybe even a little bit less. 85 to 90. Cray number two. See you later, mate. I went from catching none to catching the daily double. Let's check the other net.
I like to leave the first net out while I check the second net, just so as not to make too much of a splash. And I'll throw it back in and scare anything. Snag! That's off the snag. Look at them all! My God! There's four in there. Three. There's three, but one of them is huge. I hit the crayfish ja cray jackpot. That big one will most likely have eggs. Look at that. I got the trifecta. Right now, I've got to be a bit careful here because these have the potential to hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, the big one's out. Yep, as expected, the big one's got eggs. I'll put her in the bucket because I don't really want to just drop her down off this high ledge. The other one's got eggs too. This one's just plain tangled. I'm just going to get a measure of this big one. She's got eggs. Well and truly oversized. She's about 110. Not as big as the 120 that I got on opening. If she was a male, she'd be about the perfect size. Or he'd be about the perfect size. But it's a female with eggs. Where'd the third one go? Where's it gone? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna, the other one in the net hasn't got eggs, so I'm going to take these two with the eggs down and release them a bit closer to the water. There's one going down there. I couldn't put them both in with one hand. Here's the big one. That is awesome. Now I've got to go and get the male out of the net because it's super tangled. Right now I'm a bit puffed because I've just walked up that hill back to the net to untangle the last one, the male, and it's gone. <laughs> Where is it? It's got itself out of the net while I was releasing those two with eggs. I haven't heard a splash. Where'd it go? Oh, wrong net. <laughs> I've got two nets out, that's right. I pulled the first one out but didn't pull the second one out. Duh. Right. Eh? Finally got the big one without eggs out, or the one without eggs. See you later, mate. You beauty! Right now I'll put my nets back in and then I want to tell you a little bit of cool stuff about crayfish spawning. Now before I tell you about crayfish spawning I've decided that I'm going to put another net in. I'm going to put one in here down at these, uh, this little area here where I just released those crayfish. It doesn't look as deep and it does look every bit as snaggy, but I think it's worth a try. Let's put this out there a little bit. Something tells me that's going to be horrible snaggy. <laughs> but anyway, it looks like it's in about four feet of water. We'll give it a crack. This is really only a, a two net sort of a place. It's not a real big spot. I had a comment on my recent crayfishing video on YouTube by YouTube member Grunt asking me about crayfish spawning and reproduction and I honestly didn't know the answer. I know a little bit about trout spawning and Murray cod spawning but I didn't know much about crayfish spawning so I've done a bit of research and what I've discovered is that it's believed that crayfish mate, meaning they come together to mate in May or late autumn, and they believe that that uh, is triggered by falling water temperature. So once the temperatures drop and get cold, a male and female come together and they mate late in autumn around about May. The female will then grow berries, grow eggs under a tail, and carry them for around 140 days or so, give or take a bit. And the eggs will usually hatch late in spring or early in summer. Now those those eggs, those babies, will then stay under the mum, under the mother's, under the female crayfish's tail, until they've grown a little bit and shed their shell several times, until they're big enough to go and fend for themselves. So they come together to mate, sort of late autumn, around about May, 
the female will carry the eggs for 140 days right throughout the cray opening season and then those eggs will hatch late in spring and the little babies will hatch late spring and early summer and they'll stay with the mother until such a time as they're big enough to fend for themselves. And that's why it's critically important that we put our pregnant females back and that's why they're protected. That's why we're not allowed to keep them. I've put two back today with eggs already and those eggs, provided nobody keeps those crayfish, those eggs will hatch late in the spring and early in the summer when we're cod fishing and over the next eight or nine years they will grow to be legal sized crayfish. Right, it's time to check them again. Can I catch more than five? I got five in two nets last time which is awesome. I've been sitting in my chair with the sun on my back, it's just been wonderful. I reckon it's just a miracle that I haven't lost these nets on snags. Every time I pull them up, I can feel them rubbing against snags. Now the cord's wrapped around branches. There we go. Right, here we go. Ugh, I can feel snags. And there's one big one. One big cray. Now it's got to get it up before it gets off. It's going to crawl out of the net before I get it out, this one. It's actually a really nice size cray. I don't want that to happen. Should have, should have brought a, a stick over with me so that I could reach out and hold the net out past all those branches. Not an easy spot to cray, this one. Are there any sticks anyway? <laughs> Let's hope for the best. <laughs> yes. I hoped for the best, and I had the best outcome. Look at this ripper. Well, not as big as that big female before, but still a nice size cray. I don't think it's got eggs either, just at a quick glance. No, it hasn't. Might be a legal male. It's going to be close. Righto, the moment of truth. It is, it is smack bang on 10. It is smack bang on legal size. That is my first legal male for the season. But to be perfectly honest, if I'm not planning on keeping any crayfish today, I just love catching them. I might keep one at some stage during the season. If I was going to keep a crayfish, I wouldn't keep that one. It's, it's right on. It's just too close for comfort. I prefer them to be comfortably legal if I'm going to keep one. Look at that. My first legal cray of the season. See you later, mate. Now I'll check this net before I throw the other net back in. I can feel the snags. So many. Oh, it's hooked on one. I knew it. It was always going to happen. It was only a matter of time. What about now? Got it, I've got it, I've got it. It's tangled. There's actually, a, there's nothing in it. I thought it was a little crayfish, but it's not. <laughs> this spot is a bit of a death trap for cray nets, but I've got it back. It's lived to go another round. There may have been something in there, we'll never know. I bend it back into shape. It was only a matter of time. Every time I pull them up, I can feel them rubbing up against the snags. Right, now remember I've got a third net to check this time. I don't have very high expectations for it though. There's a big tree laying across there. And it's in shallow. I think the risk versus return ratio isn't great. Well, it's not snagged. Oh, and there's a crayfish in it. Oh, I take back everything that I just said. Uh, how dirty is the water? Is it dirty? I think I have dirtied it a bit. I was going to say, it's only, it's under size. I might be able to get a little bit of release footage. But I think I've dirtied the water up a bit too much. Oh, I'll give it a crack. See you later, crayfish.
Father, thanks. It's time to check him again. Here we go. Those legs. It feels heavy. It feels heavy. Oh, yes, there's a big cray in there. I want to get a photo of myself tangled too. I want to get a photo of myself in a big cray. Oh, good. I've got it up. He might nearly be a legal male. It's got no eggs. Let's have a look. The last one was, uh, I got a legal male earlier. It was just on exactly the minimum size. And this is... No, that's a bit under. That's a little, I reckon that's about 9.8, I reckon. I want to get a photo of myself with that crayfish before I leave. Before I put it back, I mean. I'll check both of these nets at once. And then I'll see if I've got another big one so that I can go and pose for a photo. Alright, just stay there for a minute. Don't go anywhere. Net number two, the cord's wrapped around that steer because it was snagged before. I snagged properly now. Oh. Oh dear. I don't think I'm going to be getting net number two back. That is good and proper snagged. Oh, net number three, this surprised me before. I wasn't expecting anything in this net and I caught a small one. What about this time? Nope. Right, I've taken a few photos. Hopefully they're in focus. See you later, alligator. Nearly as big as an alligator, aren't you, mate? Right? Right, now I think I've got my photo. I'll give those last two nets one more soak. I'll try and rescue this net, but I don't like my chances. Right now I almost broke my hand trying to get that crane net off. In the end I tied it to the tow ball of my car and slowly drove forward until I felt it break free. Turns out I snapped the rope but thankfully I snapped it above the knot so those two floats are still out there on the water so hopefully somebody will come past in a kayak or a boat and be able to get themselves a free crane net. Um, they'll be able to pull it from the opposite direction and they might just get themselves a free crane net and if you do you're welcome to keep it. Well, it's time for the final check of the nets. It's taken me until the final check to think to get a stick to hold the net out if there's any crayfish in it. But what's the bet that being the final check there's not going to be any crayfish in it? <laughs> Doesn't actually feel very heavy. Oh dear, can you believe it? You wouldn't read about it. Oh, I've still got to use my stick anyway because it's still tangled. There we go. Look at that. I'm an ideas man. Right, what can the last net yield? It's amazing how many people from America comment on my videos and say they're not yabbies or they're not crayfish, they're crawfish. These aren't crawfish, these are crayfish. Murray crayfish. And there's none in this net. <laughs> but these aren't crawfish, these are Murray crayfish, the second largest freshwater crayfish in the world. Anyway, folks. After a red hot reconnaissance session, I've ended the day on a slow note. Nothing in the last two nets. I came here for a bit of recon. I thought I'll try this spot. I've been fishing here for 40 years, but never yabbying. And I'll just see if I can catch one or two. I ended up catching about 10, and I ended up staying here for most of the day because I just had so much fun. I hope you've had as much fun watching as I had making this video. Thank you all very much for watching.